This client came to see me uh, really lacking in confidence. She was a beautiful young woman, but she just didn't feel uh, confident in herself and in her abilities socially at work in all areas of her life. So we found out that under hypnosis that she felt ugly and weird and different as a child. Uh, so she thought there was something wrong with her, that she wasn't good enough, but she also had experiences where she was teased for being too good. So she was ostracized for not being enough and she was ostracized for being too good. She was called names by her sisters. She was really smart at school, but she was singled out for being clever. So she felt bad for others. And so she felt like she had to kind of hide and play it small to not stand out because if she stood out, other people were going to call her out on it or other people were going to feel bad about themselves because they weren't as good as her maybe. So she really had these kind of conflicting beliefs. One part of her was like, I'm not good enough. The other part of her is like, I'm too good. And so what that did for her was that just froze her in social situations and she didn't know what to do. Do I play it down? Do I play it up? What do I say? And in her words, she, she said, either way, I'm screwed. Someone will say I'm not enough. Someone will say I'm too good. And so if you do well, you stand out. And so, you know, nerds get left out. She had those experiences at school. So part of her really wanted to be top in the class because she was smart enough. But actually, the part of her that wanted to fit in and wanted her to belong actually won and she and took her away from the pain of being singled out as a nerd at school. And she just because just she didn't want to be left out. And that's really, really common for, for students, for, for, you know, for children, for all of us, for humans. Um, so she didn't join anything. She didn't apply herself, even though she had the skills, the talents and the abilities. And so, you know, this lack of confidence, how it manifested in her was it stopped her talking. And she might say something strange and she might be ostracized. So it was protecting her from um, other people and getting hurt, but it was also protecting others from getting hurt because, you know, her sisters who didn't feel as good as her and as smart as her called her names and pulled her down and made her feel that she wasn't good enough, even though they just did it because actually they were jealous. And that's what kids do, right? Kids do that. So, um, she saw that under hypnosis, she had some real good aha moments, she rewired her mind to be confident, to have a voice, to speak out, to be herself, to, to step into the nerdy part of herself, but also to step into the side of herself that was fun and silly and just to embrace all of her as a whole being. That, you know, she could be that geeky nerd and follow the, the dreams that she wanted to follow in regards to study, that she could be the, the one who played music that other people might not like you know she could dance silly she could have fun you know all these things that she'd been holding her back herself back from doing because she lacked the confidence because it was keeping her small she's now able to do she's going out and doing all sorts of things she's doing salsa dancing with friends she booked a holiday with people you know like that she didn't do before she's stepping out of her comfort zone she went and spoke to her bosses and said hey I want some more responsibility at work and they were blown away because normally she'd be the one going please don't ask me to do it because she was too scared so she's really stepping into herself and you know just enjoying and loving her transformation and I'm loving getting her updates and seeing how she's doing